Okay. Good morning! Happy Monday. You guys know I love my Mondays, mostly, most of the time. Sometimes not so much. I did see a car accident this morning. That wasn't so great. Everybody was okay. It wasn't like a very serious one. The car was very seriously damaged because it was a Tahoe versus a Tesla, but everybody was safe and that's most important. I'm getting my vitamins for the day. d manos getting over that kidney infection. Our little mm-mm vitamins, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Cranberry, because also kidney infection. A little bit of iron, because all of us are just iron deficient. These bad boys. Mental health, you know? I like to move it, move it. Apple cider vinegar. Where's my collagen? Oh, <laughs> she did her eyebrows. <laughs> my groceries have been sitting out there for like an hour. I totally forgot they were got delivered because I was doing freaking laundry. Let's do a little grocery haul. Chips, I love chips with Costco salsa. Premier protein, tortillas, milk, bread for the kids' lunches, Texas toast for dinner, shrimp for tonight, shrimp fried rice, barbecue sauce for meatloaf. I use that replacement to ketchup. Don't like ketchup. Worcestershire sauce, teriyaki sauce, lasagna noodles, lots of cans of black beans. The Twix K-Cups. We're gonna try this instead of the blueberry this week. Whipping cream, add this to everything. People really underestimate the power of whipping cream. It's high calorie, but delicious. Bacon, frozen carrots, cheese, cream cheese, cherries, cherry tomatoes, nanners, brown sugar. I'm gonna try to put this in meatloaf. I also forgot these bad boys, which we're gonna pop on because I have 20 minutes until I have to go get Avery from school and I've been dying to put on these freaking nails. Been a few hours, kids just got home from school. We're making today's snack. I love these things. I broke my bigger one and accidentally repurchased a smaller one, but I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. They're having movie night at the school tonight and I feel kind of bad because we're missing it. I wish teachers wouldn't mention it as much throughout the day as they do because apparently they've been bringing it up all day long. But not all kids can go, so then the kids get upset and then it's a whole war we have to battle. But anyways, they're missing it because Avery has a soccer game, so. For soccer, we have pizza, we have popcorn, we're watching The Flash, then we'll watch Ariel. And hopefully everybody will be happy after that. This is how much lunch was consumed. This was the little thing that was in the middle right there. And voila, look at that. This is so much food content, I'm sorry. But we have to leave in like 15 minutes. Why are these still on my head for every soccer game? Don't be a jerk, I'm coming up tonight. Don't be a jerk, I'm coming up tonight. I'm making shrimp fried rice, but I'm gonna prep the rice now because the shrimp is super fast for when we get back home. I'm gonna take three cups. Ah! It always happens. I need to make better choices. Five cups water, little bit of garlic powder or a lot, little bit of onion powder or a lot, salt, pepper, chili powder, couple dollops of butter, a generous spoonful of chicken bouillon, paprika, a little bit of sesame oil, not too much, a little bit of rice vinegar, dash of soy sauce, a squeeze of lemon, give it a generous stir. You can definitely do that in a pan. You do not need to do it in your rice cooker. The water measurements are just gonna be a little bit different, but you can always find that information on the back of your rice bag or your rice cooker. Also, I know I go a little wild with the seasonings, but I can't help it, you guys. Okay, guys, we're ready for soccer. Look at her hair. I'm getting better. All right, girl, you ready? So cute. Let's check on our rice. Oh, yum. Oof. <laughs> Wait, can you say toy boat five times faster? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. <laughs> You're better than everyone. Better than everyone. <laughs> Super cute. Or has been using it all day. And right now we were just sitting here and it went like beep, 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 beep. We're just gonna put it right here and hope that it doesn't beep in the middle of the night. I'd put it upstairs, but the problem with that is if it beeps and one of the kids wakes up to it, they're gonna be like petrified, whereas I'll just be like, okay, if it's a ghost, end it, you know? Meanwhile, <laughs> we've got this bunny rabbit of a kitten. She always gets crazy at this time of night. I 
didn't even record what I wanted to talk about this vlog. <laughs> That's interesting, huh? Say it real quick. Go put it underwater or something. I just want you guys to know it wasn't doing this while I was getting ready and it was down here this morning. Give me it. Please? The creepy baby toy. What if you take the batteries out and then it still makes the noise? We're moving. Sure. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, well, that wasn't gonna happen. Oh! 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 <laughs> She does all night long. Hi, Mo, are you okay? <laughs> she went into hiding. <laughs> hey, come here. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> okay, really? time to get to what this video is actually about. As I'm sure so many of you guys, if not everybody, has noticed, I do not show the kids anymore. I've been wanting to make this video and this explanation, we'll call it, for a long time, but I know that when it comes to social media, I need to get my wording perfect. I've absolutely loved sharing my kid's life on the internet, and I do not regret any of it. There's probably certain moments or certain things that I would have filmed differently or maybe not filmed, but overall, I'm happy with the decisions I've made as a parent when it comes to doing YouTube with kids. Am I doing it because I believe that I'm exploiting my children? No. Truthfully, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. I simply just feel like it's the right time to make my content about me and my journey as a person, a mom, a fiance, a friend. And if the time comes where my kids want to make a platform about them and they're more of age, then they definitely can do that. I know there's a lot of parents and people on social media who do it for protection and I also am doing it for that. We've had some scary instances, especially with all the drama surrounding our breakup. There's been some like safety concerns with showing certain details about my kid's life There is definitely bad parents out there and there's definitely parents that do social media with bad intentions and that do show too much of their children's life I feel like a lot of parents get on here and explain Oh, no, I'm no longer showing my kids because this that and the other one truthfully You're just doing it because you're being hammered by people to do it, which is okay But personally I'm doing it because I feel like right now in this time. It's what's safest for them will this be forever who knows this may be like a week thing this may be like a year thing this may be a forever thing Oscar and I have both had the conversation many times like wait why are we not showing them and then also times where we're like okay we definitely don't want to show them so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for all of your love and support constantly whether I do show the kids whether I don't I do really notice you guys who go out of your way to comment or message me or just be kind and it does mean a lot so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye guys